Okay, today I would like to teach you a little trick I learned from a girl named Y who was my exchange student last year and she saw us working on the circle chart and she taught us this little trick. To do this trick we can find the sine and cosine of any angle on the circle chart. What you need to do is start by writing on your palm, your left hand palm, the square root of divided by 2. All your answers are going to be the square root of something divided by 2. On your index finger knuckle right here, write sine. On the other side, it's cosine. On your thumb, put 0. On your index finger, put 30 or pi over 6. 45 on your middle finger or pi over 4. 60 on your ring finger or pi over 3. 90 on your little finger or pi over 2. And the way this little trick works is if you wanted to know the sine of pi over 6 or a 30 degree angle, you take your left hand and you put down the 30 finger. When I put it down, the number of digits on this side is what the sine is, the number that goes inside the square root. The cosine is this side, the number that goes in the square root. So the sine of a 30 degree angle is the square root of 1 over 2. The cosine is the square root of 3 over 2. And you can write that in on your circle chart. Square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. Square root of 1, of course, is 1. You can do the same thing. Oh, I forgot the 0. Let's do the 0 degree. If I put down my 0, the number of digits on this side are nothing. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the sine over here is 0. Cosine, on this side, I have 4 digits. 4 digits, I put in a 4 here. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 would be 1. 45 degree angle or a pi over 4, I put down my middle finger. You can see then the sine would be the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine would be 2 again, square root of 2 over 2. So for a 45 degree angle, you have the square root of 2 over 2 for both of your answers. For a 60 degree angle or pi over 3, you put down your third finger, count the number of digits on the sine side, and you will see it would be the square root of 3 over 2. And the cosine would be the square root of 1 over 2. So we can write that in here. 1 half square root of 3 over 2. For a 90 degree angle, I put down my last finger, and I count the digits on the sine side. There are 4. Square root of 4 over 2 is 1. So the sine is 1. Cosine on this side, there are no digits over here on the cosine side, so we have 0 divided by 2, which is 0. When you do the other quadrants, you're going to use the same trick, only remembering that in the second quadrant, cosine is positive, sine is negative. So if you see it, one that divides by 3, it's going to be the same as a 60 because it's divided by 3. For a 4 in the denominator, you use the same as a 45 degree angle because they have the same number divided here. For 5 pi over 6, it divides by 6, you use the 30. So you can find all of these answers again using the same hand trick. So if you know it's divided by 3, you need to put down your 60 or your pi over 3 finger. So for this one, the sine is the square root of 3 over 2. And that's the second number, so it's negative. And the cosine is 1, the square root of 1 over 2, which is 1 half. The 4 will be the same as this one. Put down my middle finger, and we have the square root of 2 over 2 for both the sine and the cosine. So we'd write here square root of 2 over 2 
negative square root of 2 over 2. And we can continue on around our circle chart in the same way, just changing the signs of our answers according to what quadrant it is in. Remember the trick would be if it's divided by 3, you use your divide by 3 finger. If it's divided by 4, you use your divide by 4 finger. Divide by 6, you use your divide by 6 finger. And then remember your quadrant signs. I wrote these two in here for you. You could probably finish the circle chart for yourself and see if you can do it. You can check these answers on your calculator, of course, to see if you've done it right. I'll finish the last one here. Pi over 6, the same right here. So I'm going to use my first finger. Put down my first finger. The sign is 1, goes in here, 1 half. Cosine is the second side. So I have 3. 3 goes in here, square root of 3 over 2. Of course, in this quadrant, my second number has to be negative, so I put a negative there. Okay? Thank you very much.